So, apparently, this young lady, Megan, Duchess of Sussex, flew from Los Angeles to Heathrow International Airport in UK a couple of days ago to meet her husband, the Duke of Sussex, Harry, who was in the country to attend the 10-year anniversary of the Invictus Games service at St. Paul's Cathedral. So why that is so fascinating is because we all know that Megan did not attend the Invictus service with Harry and um, and it's quite um, it's quite interesting to me anyway that you know of all the different ways that she could have gotten to Abuja, Nigeria, she she chose to fly to Heathrow. Now, it makes complete sense. I mean, her husband is already there and they're going there together. And Heathrow or, or UK London is one way to get from Los Angeles to Nigeria. I don't know that there's a direct flight. So you always have to do a connection and, and London is a popular one. And so it's not that it's so, you know, unusual. I mean, it's done on a daily basis. It's just the fact that she braved it to go to, to UK, to London, given the climate and given the context, you know. And I, but I also think it, it was kind of... Um, you know, very bold in the sense that she she must have known they were going to talk about that and dissect that and pontificate about that ad nauseum, which they will next week because it's the weekend. I don't think they're working this weekend, but you know they are analyzing this whole thing. They're they're not done even with the Invictus service and um, Harry. You know, issuing that statement saying that look, I mean. You know, my father has a full calendar, so we'll catch up next time. You know, he will, he that he issued a preemptive strike with that, I think, and um, it was such a successful event for Harry, of course. And then King Charles apparently, through his sources, issued the statement that Harry has set up this hostile rival royal operation. And then we have Meghan flying into Heathrow, but having skipped. The Invictus Games, right? Which, you know, I was one of those who said that she should have gone. And look, in retrospect, I mean, I'm not Megan, but I mean, I would have gone to this one with my husband and probably even taken my children because, you you know, we all saw how it was when Harry arrived. That was a perfect event for her to have attended and then flown directly to Abuja with Harry after that. She had her reasons for not going. And frankly, I do understand because... They would have just turned it into Megan, you know, and the same people who were so nice and welcoming to Harry, some of them may have not been so nice. So I think she just wanted it to be Harry's moment. You know, it's Harry's. This is Harry's, you know, let him have his moment. I don't want to be a distraction. I don't want the story to be all about me. And so she skipped it. But, you know, she would have been damned if she did and damned if she didn't. I mean, I'm just saying myself personally in her place, knowing I'm damned if I do, damned if I didn't, I would have gone with my husband, but that's just me, it doesn't matter what I would have done, okay, um, that all said, the fact that she flew to, to London and waited in this um, VIP lounge for Harry, and then of course, according to some of these papers, there was some problem with the, you know, the flight, the flight was delayed because the original pilot fell ill, it's like an 11 hour flight from Heathrow to Abuja, which shocked me completely. I didn't realize it was that far away. Um, but apparently the original pilot was ill, according to reports. I have not substantiated these reports. And so they were delayed even further in waiting for a replacement pilot. So there was some drama there. Well, for the most part, it doesn't seem like most of the press knew in advance that Megan was on English soil, that she was in London, that she was at Heathrow, and that she was waiting for Harry until after the fact, which it just seems to me that Harry and Meghan are making a total and complete joke 
of the UK media in more ways than one, you know, and, you know, I'm here for it, you know, I'm here for it because, you know, it's just a tour of them against so many. So it's really amazing, right? Just absolutely amazing. Anyway, that's it for this one. See you in the next one. It was my pleasure to speak with you, of course, and I hope you're subscribed. And if you haven't yet subscribed, that you will take the time to hit the subscribe button now and support a Sussex friendly site. See you soon. Bye.